Welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining what has been a scintillating conversation. We are trying yeah. to find balance in our lives. And maybe a little bit of balance for you is delving into the world of entertainment, taking the edge off and finding out what our favorite celebrities have been up to. So let's do a bit of a global roundup with a South African connection. Yeah, let's bring it on. We're talking about the one and only Nomzama Mbata. South African talent entered international spaces once again. Yes, Nomzama Mbata was a guest and presenter at the 2023 annual Earthshot Prize ceremony in Singapore. Sure. Now, listen to this. While at the ceremony, Nomzamo met up with Prince William. Casual. <laughs> As one founder does, of yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, our founder of the Earthshot <laughs> Prize Foundation. And she's also been transitioning from a celebrated actress to an environmental advocate. And she's steadily making a name for herself in the world of environmental activism. And we are right behind her every single step of the way. Because oh, she represents an army yeah, of, of purpose-driven young South Africans. So it's so about. Yeah, for that. Congratulations. Oh, man, there is no ceiling that you, all glass ceilings when it comes <laughs> to Nomzama. We love that. Likewise, the man who has been serving us the best of South African fashion for 20 years. I feel so old right now, and he still looks so young. David Klale is still at it. Renowned global fashion designer and icon David Klale celebrated two incredible decades of his career in fashion. He has lit the way, and he has also left this uh, day job as a lecturer. He has imparted so many of those life lessons learned in a new generation of fashionistas and merging his passion for fashion and teaching. Klale had launched the intern by David Klale back in 2012 where he mentored young designers as he schooled them in all things fashion and he recently celebrated the incredible 20 years of David Klale by doing a fashion show as one must to show um, uh, young designers off give them his interns a chance to shine and a platform to showcase their latest collections and they were all very well received and of course he ended the event by showcasing his own spring summer collection for 23 and 24 and it was amazing. A range that featured, um, as we are seeing a lot, 80 looks which were dedicated to his late mother, which was beautiful. So Joyce Klale is so well represented. Uh, she would have turned 80 this year, in fact. So we are sending so much love mm. to David right now and gratitude for what he has given this industry. Uh, an icon. He really is he a living really is. icon. He's fed us inspiration. He's fed us a reason to push that boundary when it comes to fashion. And we're here to celebrate that. And let's keep the celebrations going. We're talking about yeah. Chelsea Chapman up next, yes, an American singer and songwriter. She's got four Grammy Awards under her belt. Now, she's made history by becoming, listen to this, the first black songwriter to win a country music award. Yeah, the baby. Song of the year for almost 35-year old record, Fast Car. This is insane. Oh, brilliant. Now, according to Rolling Stone, the song recently rose to popularity due to a cover done by singer Luke Combs. Now, Chapman did not attend the CMA award show, but she thanked the crowd in, an, in a statement expressing a gratitude to Luke, the CMAs, and the fans for this achievement. That's pretty crazy, man. Yeah, look, I think if you if you tally up songs of the century, I think that's right up there. It's on oh, most yeah. people's top five list. 100%. Absolutely exquisite, but I'm so glad it's getting the validation that it deserves, that she's getting the nod that she deserves. Um, and likewise, that the fans, the um, lesions of Beyonce fans here are going to get what they deserve. Prayers have been answered <laughs> um, of the South African Bayhaves as uh, Renaissance, obviously a film by Beyonce that has been very very well publicized, will now be screening in SA from the 1st of December. It's happening. So Beyonce's outstanding performance during the world tour created a sanctuary for freedom, for acceptance, a shared joy that the world plugged into. Its uh, maximalist production welcomed more than, get this, 2.7 million fans Phew. from around the world, which traveled across oceans to enjoy Renaissance. Now, millions more of moviegoers, including South Africans, will be able to plug in and experience Experience this monumental film, this dance party that celebrates everyone's right to just be themselves. And tickets are officially on sale online right now for about 30 seconds, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, it's already if probably, there are still any bro, available. You probably should just leave right now and get your <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that, in fact. I'm going to go <laughs> join the back of the queue. I've got someone waiting in the, in the queue for me. No, enjoy. Yeah, thank you, man. G-Man well, well, lines up our next dose of entertainment. Let me tell you that that's it from our entertainment news desk for today. But the conversation, yes, the conversation doesn't end here. Our social platforms are always up to date with what's happening on the social streets. So be sure to follow us at expressoshow.com and be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy this next dose of entertainment.